Hey guys and welcome to my video on how to solve the fish head or mural puzzle in Call of the Sea. There are quite a few videos or gameplay walkthroughs of this game and you can watch some people solve this but there aren't really any good simple um, explanations on how it works or how to solve it so a lot of people tend to just kind of like brute force or just get lucky and, and get through it. And so I just wanted to give a nice short simple explanation of how to, to knock this out. Now the first step is to make sure that you have the right page full of notes and have all the notes written down. And it's pretty easy. All you got to do is walk around the fish head and interact with all of the things you can interact with. The murals, the buttons, some of the notes, a bunch of notes over here. And that will get you um, your notebook full of all of the notes referring to this puzzle. Okay, So as long as the right page looks just like this, you've got everything. Second thing we're going to do is kind of go over some terms real quick that I'm going to use because some of the shapes are similar. Um, this is the format of the puzzle. You have one diamond on the outside that rotates and then diamonds on the inside of the circle. So we are going to call the rotating diamond the North Star. And then we'll call the diamonds on the inside either Golden Diamond or Yellow Diamond or just Diamond. Um, for reference, Here's the puzzle. Here's one of the puzzles. There's the North Star, and then there are three golden diamonds on the inside. All right. So now let's jump into the first puzzle. Now the key to this is the note at the bottom of the right page, the circle that is broken into four quadrants. All we have to do is take a look at the symbols and determine how many times uh, it is in the circle. How many quadrants does that symbol represent in the circle? So if we take a look at this first symbol, this is the symbol for liquid. How many quadrants is the symbol liquid in? Two, quadrant one and quadrant three. So all we have to do is rotate the northern star so that the golden diamonds are in quadrant one and three. And that's why this one's the easiest because as we look, it's already set up. North star right up here and then the gold diamonds are in quadrant one and three. Let's head over to the second puzzle because this will give a little bit better visual on, on how to do this. So second symbol. It's the very top one, transformation. So how many quadrants is the symbol transformation in? It's in only one of them, quadrant number two. So all we have to do is rotate the northern star so that the golden diamond is in quadrant two. And if we look at it right now, it's in one, two, three, four. The golden diamond is in quadrant four. So let's rotate it. And now we'll redo it. So if you take a look at the diamond over here, that makes this quadrant one. And now it's in quadrant two. So this one's good to go. All right. Let's jump over to the third one. The third symbol is life. How many times, how many quadrants does the signal symbol life come in? Three. It's in quadrant one, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So we need to rotate the northern star until we get to that. Right now it's in quadrant one, two, and four, and we need quadrants one, three, and four. So we'll rotate it. Now they are in one, two, and three. We'll rotate it again. And now, the gold diamonds, if you kind of think of it as being flipped upside down, we are in quadrant one, not in two, but in three and four as well. So one, three, four, just like the notebook says. And then finally, the last symbol is eternal. How many segments or quadrants does the symbol eternal show up? The answer is three, quadrants one, two, and four. So we need to rotate the northern star to where they are in one, three, and four. One, two, and four, excuse me, one, two, and four. Right now, it is in one, three, and four. So let's rotate it. Now it is in two, three, and four. And if we rotate it again, this is the right combination. Voila! Got it right. And just to show you for reference, if you take a look, here's the 
there's the northern star. So then if you think of it upside down, you've got the golden diamonds in segments one, two, and four. Just like the notebook shows. Such a simple puzzle, but it's also very easy to overthink it and, and, and you can really get lost in some time in this, just like I did. I spent a, a couple hours trying to figure out such a simple, easy puzzle. I really do hope this helps uh, cut down some of the time you spend. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If this helped, leave a like. I really appreciate it, guys. This was a lot of fun to make. Good luck out there. Peace out.